HubSpot is taking capturing lead information to the next level with its new forms editor. With more functionalities to style and customize it, you can make it better suit your brand's identity. And with multi-step forms in the picture, you will be able to address form abandonment issues as it helps break down longer forms into manageable sections. Uh, to create a new form, you're going to want to, it's the same drill, um, go to marketing forms and then create form. And here you'll be presented with two options, the legacy form, which was the previous one that we used and the new forms is this one. So you want to choose the new forms, hit next. In the interface, you can already see there's so many different functionalities. Um, there's a lot more things you can do to style and customize it. Um, just taking, for instance, uh, here, as you can see under fields, there's font, um, the error message color, the background color, the border. And it's not just for fields, you can do that for buttons, paragraphs, heading, background just to show the background as well you can change the background color to suit better what your brand colors are you can also include any image if you want to oh that looks distracting so i will just undo this but that's for style and customizing um you can also as you could before as well you can even in the new forms editor you can uh set validation rules so if I were to include an option here, uh, similar to as before, you can um, create new properties or link to existing ones. So if I type a label out here and if my, if my current label does not quite match the existing properties, I can just hit search properties and create a new one if I want to. Since there's already one here, I will just change the name and sorry hit save and to set validation rules here you're going to want to go to settings and here by clicking rules you can set whatever validation rules you want to set if there is a minimum character limit maximum numerical values or any special characters i will leave that up to you um so we've discussed styling with discussed validation rules now turn for conditional logic in this i have already set up a question so what service are you looking for if i wanted it to include a logic as to if somebody opts for email marketing i want to know what their company revenue is and i'm not it's not a use case it's just an example um so i can add that logic and only if the person clicks on email marketing the person will get this option to fill out as well if they choose social media or other they won't um so that's it for conditional logic and last bit, the multi-step forms. As you can already see that there are multiple steps included um, in this form, you can add more, you can change the structure, the layout of the multi-step forms here. Um, and yeah, that's that. Um, the new forms are available for all hubs and tiers uh, under public beta, and the multi-step forms can be accessed uh, by users of content, marketing, sales, and service hubs. Thank you for watching.